Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator version 3 REST API development. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we are going to define our first API controller. In the last video, we had seen about the complete details about all 4 downloaded files, what we needed about to develop our REST APIs in Coordinator. So back to Coordinator. Now inside this video, we are going to define our first controller means first API controller. By the help of that controller, we are going to make our methods of APIs. And inside that APIs, as you know from the previous video that we are going to extend about REST controller instead of normal controllers what they extend about CI controller. So if we want to make any controllers in Codeigniter, back to our controllers folder. Now inside this controllers folder, we can create our own controllers. Now for APIs, it's better that firstly, we have to make an API folder. We can create controllers outside of this API folder means at root folder, we can create our controllers. Let's say that I'm going to create a controller, let's say ABC dot php it's okay but what we want we want to separate all the controllers what is related with our apis should go inside this api folder let's say that this is our folder which contains about web portal about let's say apis about admin panel so we want to separate all apis into a separate folder so if i delete this file and let's say that all APIs should go inside this API folder. So here I am going to define out the first controller something called student.php. Now inside this API folder, this is our file. Now inside this file, let's declare our PHP tag. Now first thing first, we need to define all let's say require our REST controller what we have inside this libraries folder. So inside this libraries folder, we need to extend this class file. So firstly, we need to include that. So let's say require, it should be something libraries and inside that libraries we have called REST underscore controller dot PHP and before that we need to include about application path so let's app path it's our code igniter constant which basically returns about the path up to this application folder after getting this application folder now next we need to go inside this libraries folder and this is our file what we need to require inside this api controller now let's say class a student Let's extends. All we have to do, if I open this file, all we need to do extend this class. So if I copy this REST controller, go here and define here. All we have done now, we have successfully extended or included REST controller inside this student API controller. As you have seen about REST API development using CoPHP, what we have made a separate playlist. In that playlist, we had discussed about four method types. If we want to insert any data inside our table, we want about post request type. If we want to update any data inside our table on the behalf of any unique ID, then in that condition, we want about put request type. If we want to delete any data, we want about delete request type. And finally, when we want to read all the data from our database table, so in that condition, we have to use called get request type. So if I make some comments to understand, so let's say that for insert our data, let's insert, we want about post request type so copy that pasting it here and here let's say if we want to update any data we want about put request type if we want to delete any data 
it should be delete request type and finally if we want to get all the data from our table it will be something if I again copy and let's say if we want to list all the data it should be capital L list all the data then we have to use called the get request type so these are the things actually we need to cover inside the whole playlist of this code igniter API development we are going to use all these request type now if we back to slide now let's say that in the previous videos means in our REST API development code PHP as we have seen that to detect our method type what we have actually studied or what we have seen we have seen that our PHP global variable called server inside that we had written about request type and here we have compared about something called our post so this is the way what we have studied to get our method type the exact key name we have something it should be something request and it should be method so on the behalf of this global variable on the behalf of this key actually we receive about the request type and compare and work accordingly but in, but in code igniter the, pro, the method is something our format should be different means if we want to detect about post request type put type delete and get request type then we have different way to do that what is that way so firstly let's make some methods to read that so let's say function if we want to insert any data let's say that index and all we have to do about attach request type so as we know that to insert any data we have to use post request type so it should be index underscore post this is method name and this is request type so let's make it's public so public function index post and let's say that when we call this method something by using our controller and only so let's say here our project name here let's say project underscore name means project URL after that we are going to put index.php and then our controller then index method automatically get called now inside this index method as we know that we have post type so it will be called when we hit this method using post type only so if I make single line comment so insert data method now let's say that public function and if we want to update any information so inside that we want something in text and put request type as what we have declared here so when we hit about this URL means if I copy this project URL pasting here now when we hit this URL using put request type then automatically this method get called so here this should be for the post again if I make this comment from here this will be something for the put request type and again let's say public function index now if we want to delete any data we have to write called index underscore delete here so if I make one line comment so this should be something for the delete and finally let's say for the get method so it should be public function and if I write index underscore get it means we are reading some data from the database table and let's say putting single line comment and this will be something get request type so insert data from here and we are just updating data method we have now delete data method and finally we have list data method so this is the way guys how can we detect about the request type in our different different methods of this API controller so in the next video we will see that how can we make use of all these methods 
to do their respective operations. So let's summarize what we have studied inside this video. Inside this video, we have seen some standards while developing our REST API in Code Igniter. Firstly, to separate all the controllers. Let's say here we have controllers folder back to our directory. Now this is our application inside controllers. So all we have to do define our controllers inside a separate folder called API. This is not the standard. This is way to make a to make a neat and clean code. Why we have made API folder? It's because let's say that our code writer application also contains a web portal, also contains admin admin portal, and it also contains about the mobile APIs. So we want to separate modules by modules so that we have made an API folder to contains only about the API files. So this is all about to declare and define about the controllers inside this folder. Now in this video, also we had seen that if we want to detect about the method type, then we need to concatenate or let's say as we have to define as a suffix about the method name. So if we back to our controller, so to detect about the post request type, only we need to concatenate with this method type with the method name. So these are the names like index, we can define our own math name. Let's say that if we want to change something is student. So we have to call cut controller and the method name something like this. So if we hit this method via postman using post request type, then automatically student underscore post get called. So for the simplicity or for the simple URL, I have defined index here so that student itself not repeat it again. So this is how guys, how can we define or declare our first controller inside this REST API development. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.